Okay. So, this is the first episode, technically, uh, of... Uh, you've just unfocused the camera, by the way. No, it, um, it, it of, unfocused itself. This camera's a piece of shit. Alright, let's go. Of Fighting Fantasy. Uh, this is a book series, which we're starting, like, halfway through. Well, that doesn't really matter, because each story is its own. Um, where I will be reading out an adventure, and Kaiser will be participating in that adventure to, uh, to try and beat it. Yeah, and the first piece of this is actually going to be on the podcast uh, number 55, which is going to be going out uh, this week. So th this episode should, uh, this little prequel bit should go out actually before the podcast. Yeah, in this episode, we're just going to be setting up Kaiser's character sheet, explaining the rules a little bit for any of you at home that want to, I'd say play along at home, but you, you'll have to follow what Kaiser's doing, because I'm afraid I won't be going to all the different pages. I'll do my best to not make any vulgar gestures with my hands. This is true. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, okay, so, making the uh, sheet. First of all, you have a... Uh, you will need to record your skill, your stamina, and your luck. Now, each of these will change over time, so I'd give them a little bit of space on the page so you can adjust them. Yep, I've got them right here. And they've got uh, so, like, plenty of space. Also, you'll see that Kaiser has some dice next to him. Uh, this game is going to involve a lot of dice rolling, and the uh, the setup... None of those dice. <laughs> Only d6s, don't worry. Uh, the Yes, the setup for his character also requires dice rolling. So, Kaiser, to determine your skill score, this will determine how skillful you are, at the start of the campaign, you need to roll a d6 and add 6 to it, and that will be your skill. I've got just 1d6. 1d6. 4. 10. A decent roll. That's 10 skill. I got skills. Okay, and next, you will uh, be rolling 2 dice to determine your stamina. Alright. You do not get anything added onto this. Wait, hang on. I want Sorry, to make... nope, no, mind you, add 12 to the, the number that you roll. I want to make this prettier, so I got a bronze die, and I got a red die. Even harder for the camera to read. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 4 and a 1. A 4 and a 1. Wow, you suck. Uh, that's 17 stamina. It's just like in real life, guys. You got no stamina. <laughs> <laughs> got a uh, tad bit of that asthma. Oh, whoops. Alright, leave that bookmark in. Uh, now look, this now is the skill you'll... that I'm best at in real life. Your <laughs> luck. Well, we shall see. Uh, the luck box. Roll one dice and add six to this number. One. Oh, you love to see it, ladies and gents. <laughs> <laughs> That's a seven for your luck. So I got good skill, I got mediocre stamina, and I got shit luck. For reasons that will be explained below, skill, stamina, and luck scores change constantly during an adventure. You must keep an accurate record of these scores, and for this reason you are advised either to write small in the boxes, or to keep an eraser handy. Uh, never rub but never rub out your initial scores, although you may be awarded additional skill, stamina, and luck points, these totals may never exceed your initial scores. Okay? Yep. I, I, like you see, I've, I've left like plenty of space here, so... Awesome. Uh, when you'll be instructional... Okay, yeah, cool. Uh, your skill score reflects your general fighting expertise. Okay. The higher, the better. Your stamina score reflects your general constitution. This is your, like, will to survive, your determination, and overall fitness. The higher your stamina score, the longer you'll be able to survive. So it's basically your HP as well. Yeah. Your luck score definitely. indicates how naturally lucky a person you are. Luck and magic are facts of life in the fantasy kingdom you are about to explore. Alright. Get to okay. roleplay someone who's not me. Yep. <laughs> Regarding that... Well, first of all, you haven't named your character yet, Kaiser. Oh, can I name him? Uh, by all means. Alright, so I'm going to be playing uh, Thunderthuck. Thunderthuck. How original. <laughs> it's a good fantasy name. I chose a different one than I use in uh, Final Actually, Fantasy. No, it's perfect. So, every time you, you die, Kaiser dies, and believe me, 
it's gonna happen. <laughs> uh, he goes on to another. He makes a new character and starts fresh. So he can have the Thunderthuck lineage, starting with Thunderthuck the uh, first. We'll see how they each get. Uh, you'll often come across battles. Um, an option to flee may be given, although I don't think you ever will. Uh, <laughs> But if not, or if you choose to attack anyway, you must resolve the battle as described below. First record your... Uh, hang on, this is book stuff. So. Depending on the creature. The sequence of combat is then. Roll the two dice once for your opponent. And it's... Okay. Roll two dice once for yourself. Add the number rolled to your current skill score. This total is your attack strength. If your attack strength is higher than that of your opponent, you have wounded it. Uh, if your opponent's attack strength is higher than yours, it has wounded you. So, you both roll. Whoever gets highest gets the attack. Got it. Uh, if both attack strengths total the same, you have avoided each other's blows. Uh, ba -ba -ba. You... If you hit them, you subtract two points from their stamina score. Uh, you can use luck here to do an additional damage. Uh, if you get hit, you can use luck to reduce the damage. Oh, but you only lose one stamina if you get hit. Okay. Uh, there's also... I'm just going to skim through here. Instant death. Right. So hard. Is luck like an expendable resource? It is. Okay. Uh, instant death. As you learn more about yourself during the adventure, oh my, <laughs> you will realize that you're an extremely powerful creature, capable of killing most opponents with a single blow. If you roll a double when rolling for your attack strength, then you have landed such a death-dealing blow. Your opponent will instantly die without the need to resolve the particular attack round you are in. Wait, is, so any double? Like a like a double one could kill him? I guess so. If you get snake eyes, then you just fucking kill the bitch. Okie dokie. I don't know if that works for big creatures or not, but I it doesn't say otherwise, so... Fuck it. Uh, there's sometimes we'll be fighting more than one person. Uh, luck. At various times during your adventure, either in battles or when you come across situations in which you could be either be lucky or unlucky... You may call on your luck to make the outcome more favourable, but beware. Using luck is a risky business, and if you are unlucky, the result could be disastrous. The procedure for using your luck is as follows. Roll two dice. If the numbers rolled are equal to or less than your current luck score, you have been lucky, and the result will go in your favour. If the number rolled is higher than your current luck score, you have been unlucky, and you'll be penalized. I am not even going to write that down, because I am not going to use that with a fucking <laughs> two for luck. <laughs> two? You got seven, didn't you? I thought you said it was roll a d6 plus one. Uh, let me just double check. If I had a seven, that's no, a lot better. No, no, I, it's seven, yeah. Oh, it is seven? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So for the first one, you should have added a 6. For the second one, you should have added a 12. And for the third one, you should have added a 6. Okay, sorry. On the, on the last one, I thought I thought it was add 6, add 12, add 1. Right, okay. No, My sorry. bad. Uh, That's a lot better then. Uh, the, this procedure is known as testing your luck. Each time you test your luck, you must subtract 1 point from your current luck score. Thus, you will soon realize that the more you rely on your luck, the more ris risky this will become. Okay, do you understand that? Yep. Cool. Pretty simple. Uh, However, in battles, you have the option of using your luck to inflict a more serious wound or minimize the effects of a wound from a creature. Uh, if you have just wounded the creature, you may test your luck as described. So, it's not just like a straight instant plus one to damage, or minus one to damage, you do still have to test your luck. Yeah. Uh, if you're lucky, you do an extra two damage, so it goes from two to four. Uh, if you're unlucky, 
the wound was a mere graze and you own hang on oh uh, basically I, I, if you I mean, fuck I get, it up I get the concept yeah, yeah 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 sorry uh If you're lucky, you have managed to avoid full damage if you're being attacked. If you're unlucky, you take an extra point of damage. Yep. So you get double damage against you if you fuck up. And you still have to take off one luck, I think. Yeah. Well, I mean, you uh, used it either way, so... A magic weapon might increase your skill, but remember that only... But remember that only one weapon can be used at a time. You cannot claim two skill bonuses for carrying two magic swords. Uh, your skill score can never exceed its initial value unless you are specifically instructed. Your backpack contains enough provisions for ten meals. You may rest and eat at any time except when engaged in a battle. Eating a meal restores four stamina points. Uh... So yes, add four stamina and deduct one provision. So you need to write in your provisions that you have ten. Was it ten? Yeah. Alright, hold on. Wait, hang on, no, I, just, I don't know that. It says you have enough room for ten meals. I don't know if you have ten meals. Okay. Uh, but we'll get that. This is all... Yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Okay, I think... I think we are we're good to start. You're about to embark upon a thrilling fantasy adventure in which you are the hero. You decide which route you take, which dangers to risk, and which creatures to fight. If you're a player, if you're new to I'm already flicking around in the book, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just to, like get ahead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you do not have a pair of dice handy, dice rolls are printed throughout the book at the bottom of the pages. Flicking rapidly through the book and stopping on a page will give you a random dice roll. That's quite interesting. It's interesting, but at the same time... Um, we have dice, so it's fine. I mean, maybe this is mean, but I, I picture somebody playing this alone and I kind of feel sad. <laughs> uh, okay, The Creature of Havoc, that's the name of this book. Adventure takes place in the region of Alansia, where the dusty Windward Plain meets Trolltooth Pass. Wait, hold on, Blue. If we're actually starting, shouldn't we uh, cut and go to the podcast? Uh, sure. You don't actually start... This is a lot of intro. Alright, alright. Let's 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 finish the full intro and then we'll uh, get to oh, it. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> How long is the intro? Um, it might be... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> this is the part we're going to cut from the video. Yep. <laughs> so, I think the uh, the precursor to the adventure beginning is 22 pages long. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Uh, give me the spark notes, and then we'll get going. Okay. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I don't even know if, if this is all necessary to read. There's a lot yeah. of stuff like... It's probably just all bonus lore. Let's just get into the game and it'll be funnier for the podcast. Yeah, it talks about, like, a particular person, a necromancer, a particular coven. It's lore A particular building. place, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Alright, yeah. let's cut this video here. Awesome. And then we will, uh, you know, wait for the podcast this week and you will see... In segment three, the entirety of me trying to get through after I have just told him to skip the lore that probably will keep me alive. <laughs> well, at the end of the day, if we come to a particular place, I can dart back this section and be like, "Oh, that's this what, is this, what is. this place is yeah, like." Okay. I think that might be what this is, but I'm not sure. It's a, it's a glossary. All right, awesome. stay tuned for that. <laughs>